On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at Diamondback's Hook Hardtail Mountain Bike. This is an entry-level, trail-oriented hardtail from Diamondback, and it presents a pretty interesting option for a less expensive hardtail mountain bike that gives some pretty unique concessions to make a more enduro to trail version of a hardtail aluminum bike. But before we get into the bike, be sure to consider hitting the subscribe button that way you can see more videos like this posted in the future, as well as leave a comment down below with what you think about this bike as we start to go through it. So Diamondback is a value-oriented brand, and they make some pretty interesting things. Everything from a hardtail like this to carbon, full suspensions, and stuff like that as well. So this hardtail mountain bike has an aluminum 6061 T6 budded alloy frame. It's got some neat external cable routing, threaded bottom brackets, and as we look at it here, you can see the reach seems relatively long and the front end actually pretty slack. But the major thing about this bike is going to be the fact that it's set up as a 1x8 drivetrain. It's a pretty unique setup. So this bike certainly comes with much more modern geometry than many of the other entry-level hardtails. It, it looks a little more geometry-wise like what you might find on a higher-end bike. And how they do that is they've made it up this inch and an eighth head tube with a 120 millimeter fork. So this fork that's coming on the bike runs an SR Suntour XCM fork, which means it's got 30 millimeter stanchions, it's coil spring with preload adjust, and then in back, we're gonna be set up with this pretty unique 1x8 drivetrain. What's unique about it is it's running a SRAM X4 rear derailleur, which is an eight-speed derailleur from many generations ago, and it's parted up with an 1132 cassette. Up front, you've got an alloy crank set, square taper with threaded bottom bracket, and a 32 chain ring. So you combine that chain ring with that 1132 out back, and you actually end up with a limited range one by. Now you'll also notice that this has a full ISCG 05 chain guide around the crankset, even with the lower pulley. And that's because that SRAM X4 derailleur doesn't have a clutch to it. So this bike requires a full chain guide, both top and lower, to make sure the chain doesn't come off that 30 tooth narrow wide. That's interesting because that's kind of like a conversion drivetrain, like what you might do on your own, but it comes from the factory. So now as we pull back, you can see that kind of more aggressive look to this bike, and it's an opportunity to notice the fit that's happening. So this is being set up with the aluminum Diamondback Shorty stem. This is a 45 millimeter reach stem. It's running a 31.8 bar clamp, and it's made it up to the Diamondback 750 millimeter wide handlebars that have a 15 millimeter rise to them. So it's a nice wide handlebar to help you have a bit more control as you're descending, but it's also gonna make the maneuverability a bit better. Now perched on the seat, you're set up with this Diamondback sinker saddle. The saddle is mounted using an aluminum seat post and a quick release clamp Connecting you to the ground is gonna be these V-Rubber Crown Gem 27 and a half inch tires with 2.35 inches of width. So this is a pretty fast rolling tire and it's mounted up on some Diamondback DP25 double walled aluminum rims. Of course, laced up 32 holes to the 100 millimeter front hub standard and a 135 quick release rear hub standard. For brakes, the bike set up with mechanical Tektro Aries brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. So now that we've taken a look at some of the design of this bike, let's go ahead and find out what this bike weighs. The actual weight of the Diamondback hook hardtail in a size large is 32.87 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Diamondback hook aluminum mountain bike. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this hardtail mountain bike. Let me know if you would take some of the parts that are on this. Would this be your bike to upgrade and get used to? 
Or would you rather a more traditional 3x or 2x drivetrain instead of this converted 1x? Well, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video. And while you're at it, make sure you've hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.